So we're starting with the synergy cards and what these are are words that are corresponding to the actual teams that we created in mission one and they also correspond to the words in the organizational synergy map. So what you are seeing are the actual cards or words spread out in front and communication in the middle. And then what we do is we bring out the flow cards which is at the individual behavior level and we see another group of words which is the flow map the individual values map that you have as part of your first objective so these words are in the same pattern as the synergy cards and as you might guess there is a connection between that the synergy cards are at the organizational level and deal with function and the individual cards are at the individual level so now what we do is we take the field word and we're looking and now fields all of these words can fit with all of the synergy cards so there's creativity fields, synergy fields, services fields, marketing fields, stewardship fields, communication fields, but there's one primary connection and re fields goes with research. You can have fields of knowledge. Uh, the next card is resources. And again, this fits with all of them. There are stewardship resources, research resources, infrastructure resources, there's learning resources, there are operations resources, creativity resources, synergy resources, services resources, marketing resources, and stewardship resources, communication resources, but the primary connection is at infrastructure. So the essence of infrastructure's resources. Again, jobs fits with all of them. Now, as you can see, the whole individual map fits each one of these functions. So each one of the whole uh, individual is almost like a job. And we're going down now to jobs. So learning, the focus point, the essence of learning is jobs. Each one of the organizational functions has one primary lens. So activities, stewardship activities, research activities, infrastructure activities, learning activities, operational activities, and so on. And essentially what you can do is you can uh, organize any one of the functions using those ten words. So now activities goes down to operations. So the focus of operations is activities, products. The beauty of this system is that it can be applied to any company or organization. The words that are used are structure words and the content fits any business or organization meaning every business has products every business has activities every business has jobs every business has resources every business has fields relationships very important word which we're learning about right now and all of the different organizational functions have different relationships learning relationships operational relationships creativity relationships synergy relationships, service relationships. Now what happens is when you have let's say research relationships where the actual word may be specialists and the marketing relationships where the actual word is distributors you these are creating word formulas it's like there's a primary interface in the inflow matrix and then what you do is you start to connect all the words together to create the next levels down so once you have the primary interface maps in your mind you can basically start to play to see the um, all of the different connections in regards to um, the whole business system strategies learning strategies operational strategies creativity strategies so like the services strategies would be quite different from the creativity strategies which would be different from the infrastructure strategies but the main focus of strategies is marketing. And finally two more, there's agreements. 
research agreements, infrastructure agreements, learning agreements, operational agreements, creativity agreements. Isn't this exciting? Good God, is this exciting! Anyway, all of these cards again are lenses which fit into maps and patterns in your mind and then you begin to see whole systems. And finally, conversations. There are different types of conversations and in the conscious communication card set we there's a whole card set specifically around the types of conversations that are involved in this whole system but for now in mission two we're just putting these two primary levels together wow research fields infrastructure resources learning jobs operational activities creativity products synergy relationships service paths marketing strategies stewardship agreements and communication conversations now these cards also come in triads together meaning three of them so agreements jobs and relationships with conversations already in the middle so you can go to any business and figure out what are the agreements, what are the relationships, and what are the jobs, and you know that business, basically. What a, just a, a wonderful triad. Then there's the strategies, the resources, and the products. Essentially, you have products going out, you have resources coming in, and the strategies of how to manage both. And that's another triad. Again, this is applied to a business system. Then there are fields, paths, and activities. This is more on the doing side. The fields, the paths, and the activities, and conversations in the middle. So those are the three primary triads. And you can see them all together. Isn't that wonderful? That is so incredible. Now the final thing what we do is by creating a value system we are giving a specific relationship between one value and each one of these words. So what I'm doing is I'm randomly drawing the values because this can also be very interesting. Profit at resources, concentration at fields. And what this does is it breaks the normal thinking patterns. It creates a new sort of synapse as the value is connected to the concept and the basic formulization in the inflow matrix is what you're seeing here it's a very unique way to create a value system and what it does is it 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 sort of rewires the mind and gives you a unique feedback system to look at how to pattern interrupt your normal thinking and communicating s processes and there's a sort of magical side to this where it's like you're telling your DNA here's our new value system let's sort of figure out what this means and so you go through a set of experiences now with different lenses in your conceptual uh, glasses and life becomes quite unique now what we're doing as a team is we're all doing this together so our learning now has a shared reference point at the value level and then all of these values meet together at the group organizational values which we chose in mission one so this is the objective one of mission two and you just saw a very quick way to do it thank you